Okay, first off, how are you feeling, man? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry, I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, I feel pretty good. I uh, never won a conference tournament game in my career. So it's pretty special. I'm um, really happy and got to get going. We've got one tomorrow, too, against Texas Tech, so I'm really excited. You come out and you knock down two of your first three, including the first three. What did that mean to you? Because I know you're very focused on, obviously, this game, but a lot of other things during Ramadan as well. Yeah, I mean, I just came out to play. That's what, that's what I thought about. I didn't want to put it as a distraction. I knew I was tired and thirsty and hungry, but I didn't really. I just focused on just playing good, and it just felt good to knock the first two or the first two out of three. So that's made me feel good about myself, and I just kept balling, and it was, it was fun. So. And it was the first of 14 made threes. Uh, what role did that play in today's game, in your opinion? Oh, we made 14? Oh, wow. I mean, that's what we do. Um, we take 30-plus threes a game, and even we miss, we make. We just we live with it, and uh, that's, that's our approach to every game. And today the ball went in like it should be every game, and it felt great. That's how we, that's how we beat teams, and that's us. You guys saw us today, so that's fun. There's only one team that scored 80-plus all year against UCF, and it was BYU twice. What did it take to do that against a very good defensive team? Yeah, it took a, it took a lot, obviously, the, the 14 threes, I would say. And they're a really good defensive team, like in Kim Pong by numbers, by everything. And they're long athletic. And uh, that's, how, that's how they approach every game. And it feels good about to see our offense just take a step forward. Uh, we moved the ball really well. We knew when they switching. We knew how to throw to Fus inside and pick and pops, pick and rolls. We were just on our toes the whole game. And that's why both games we scored 80 plus, because we were just on our toes and just just ready to go. So, Doing all that stuff, you were in a rhythm. It seems like it'd be hard to get in a rhythm against the, them considering kind of how physical and how choppy the game can be, yet you guys were able to do it multiple times. Yeah, it was it was the approach, uh, punch first approach. We saw their game yesterday, obviously, and they were played really hard um, from the jump. When it's an early game, we haven't really had success early games, and it was really motivation, uh, motiv motivating for, uh, for us just to go out and punch first. And we showed that, and then they came back, and then we punched first again. And that shows, shows a lot about our character, about our team, because we got a lot of leaders on the, go, on the court and off the court. And we're a very mature group. And even if stuff went sideways, we still got the job done. Diallo's been a beast. Uh, you and Foos did a great job on him. What did it take to kind of limit Diallo? Um, took a lot of physicality. I was really I'll give credit to the whole team. We just hit him every time we saw him in the lane. And he's a big dude, like you said, and strong, really strong. And me, Foos, and all the other guys as well, whatever he's running in the lane, we just hit him and hit him hard, blocked him out, trying to limit his rebounds and his touches. And I think we got him a little out of the game. I knew as well he was fasting as well, so it was kind of, it was kind of, I knew like he would get a little tired as well, like I was tired, so. But we did a great job on him, I think. He's a great player, big dude, but yeah. At a free throw or anything, did that come up in any conversation? The, hey, how you feeling? Yeah, uh, I asked him at the start of the game if he's fasting, and he's like, yeah, so it was, uh, it's pretty cool to see other Muslim players around the country at this time of the year just fasting. I know Isam, my friend, TCU, uh, the big man, number 44, he's fasting as well. And it's pretty cool to see a guy, other guys as well. And I don't feel like I'm lonely a little bit. But, um, but yeah, I kind of saw it in his eyes as well. He looked a little tired. Uh, obviously, we wake up early in the morning and eat. And But, yeah, like I respect him a lot for doing that. What does it mean to you and what went into the decision too fast in the most important games of the season? Because th what you're doing is more than basketball, for sure. Yeah, um, I mean, in my opinion and in my religion, we fast every Ramadan no matter what, basically, except if you're really sick or traveling for a long distance and stuff like that. So for me, it was like it was different. It was like no matter what's going to happen, I don't care. I was still fast, and we figured it out. And that's what we did. Uh, like the players and my teammates and the coaches really supported me. They gave me food every, give me food at every 5 a.m. Like the managers, like B. Rob and Juice and and Nate, Nate Austin did a lot of job with me. Just give me food and whatever I need, and because I would stay up late a little bit and wake up 4:30, 5 a.m. to get food. So I got a lot of people supporting me, and it makes my life easier a little bit. But for me, it was nothing. I didn't even ask my parents if I can or can't. I was like, nah, I'm still fasting, and I will live with my decision. I feel like. It's going to be a good thing for our team, too. So, On to Texas Tech. This is a team that uh, you played once. You're up 17. Tough loss there. How excited are you for a chance at a uh, little payback there? <laughs> really excited. We, we've been looking. We always look at these teams who beat us once, and we never got to play them again. And that's one of the games we really had them. So I'm really excited to play Texas Tech. Um, we saw some success against them. We just didn't have it over there. They home crowd, and we played bad in the second half. But I think our whole team, just payback time, so really excited, and hopefully we're going to get the win tomorrow.
Okay, well, best of luck, and congrats on uh, doing a really hard thing fasting during this. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you.